Talking McDonald Mines today, McDonald Mines trades is BMK on the Toronto Venture Exchange. They have some drill results from their scatting deposit, the SPJ property in Sudbury. Also continues drilling beyond scatting at the Joe Van property. Here run through the details of the news. Mia Boyardi, Mia, appreciate the time and update. Certainly a lot going on for McDonald Mines. Before we dig into today's news, let's backtrack a little bit and uh, tell us how uh, you closed up 2020. A challenging year for some, but uh, here you are still standing. Mia Boyardi. Sure. Thanks, Rob. Um, yes, so we finished drilling in um, January, or sorry, in December of 2020. We uh, The focus was very much on drilling on the scatting deposit. And when you last spoke to Jean-Francois, our chief geologist in November, he kind of outlined what the focus was uh, late in 2020, where we're going to try and fill in some of the gaps in the historical a scatting mine. So the scatting mine operated and produced about 29,000 ounces of gold at about a grade of nine grams per ton in the 1980s. So there's a small decline and there's three open pits. So our focus has really been in 19, in 19 and in 20 on focusing on that area because that was the area where we knew there was gold because there was past production and we had the most information. So we did about 83 holes there and the focus in uh, the fall of last year was really trying to fill in some of these gaps. So we were waiting for, unfortunately it took forever for us to get some of the assays back, but what we announced uh, today or yesterday was 11 uh, results from 11 holes that were drilled at scatting. We did 83 in total. We're still waiting for six. Um, but the intersections are really good and really exciting for us. I mean, high-grade gold over nice widths. And what we're doing is filling in those gaps. So filling in the gaps between the underground decline, the legacy underground mine, and the north pit and the south pit. So we're showing that there's continuity there in terms of the mineralization. And right now we've traced it about 450 meters um, east-west and north-south. So much bigger than what the initial footprint of the scatting mine is, uh, which is great for us. So we're going to continue on delineating uh, what ha is happening at the scatting mine because we think that you know there's huge potential there. And one thing to remember as well is that all of our drill holes so far has been have been really shallow. Um, you know, for the most part, we've drilled to 150 meters, 200 meters. Most of the mineralization we're hitting is subsurface, so really near surface uh, within the first 100 meters. Um, but the thought is that this stuff is open also at depth. So, you know, later on, I think as we continue on developing what we have at scatting, we might go a little bit deeper and see how these things kind of hold together. But there's no doubt in our minds that there's lots of gold there still to be found. So we'll just, uh, you know, spend some time probably in 2021, 2022 and defining that a little bit better. Yeah, you certainly laid out a lot there. Let's uh, get into specifics here of uh, uh, what, what do you expect uh, in Q1 here? Yeah, so one of the things that also Jean-Francois was mentioning back in November is that we did some geophysical work uh, last fall, and we finally got that data, and Quentin uh, did a great video that people can access on our YouTube channel on our website that really looks at um, and gives an overview of what that IP work is actually providing us with in terms of data. So when we start modeling that, what we get to see is that we have like this um, big target, which is what we call a high metal factor target, that we are right now targeting at Jovan. So Jovan is about nine kilometers east of Scatting. And when we did work on the Jovan property in 2018, uh, we were really excited because there's lots of showings and there's a braiding showing there. And it's a polymetallic showing. So it has gold, but it also has nickel, cop copper, cobalt, and some silver as well. And looking at the IP data, looking at historic data and the work that we did in 2018, we're targeting right now some of these high metal factor kind of models and uh, anomalies. And we've completed about three holes in that area. We started drilling in January, on January 11th. We completed three holes of a planned eight uh, hole program. And what we're seeing right now is really exciting because we are hitting mineralization that's very akin to what we see at scatting. And we always thought that there was a relationship between Jovan and scatting. 
Um, so we're finding this chloride alteration, which seems to, to carry sulfides. And these sulfides are massive or semi-massive. And so visually, uh, it's really exciting because that's typically what we see at scatting and what has returned high-grade values at scatting. So we don't have any assay results back from Jovan, um, but things are being sent out and we can't wait to see what's going to come back out of there. So potentially uh, really exciting in terms of being able to have now connect Jovan to scatting with a strike length of, you know, nine to 10 kilometers, uh, which is quite substantial. Well, certainly excited and I certainly laid out a reason to pay attention to BMK here. Uh, What'll be up next here for the company, Mia? So we're, um, we still have six holes that are due from the drilling that we did this fall at scatting. So as soon as they'll come in, we're going to be releasing them. And of course, the holes at Jovan. So as I mentioned, we finished three. Um, Those are out of the lab. We just don't know. We're hoping that we're going to get results a little bit quicker that we've had in the past. Unfortunately, you know, the labs have to deal with COVID as well and different COVID protocols, and, and they're just not churning out results as quickly as we'd like them to. But, you know, we should have some pretty consistent uh, results coming in, and we're going to keep on drilling. So we're not waiting uh, for things to come back. As I said, you know, visually we do what we call quick logging. So we look at our core, uh, we do some measurements, we look at structures, and then we send them out for assaying. So based on that preliminary kind of of analysis, uh, we're trying to figure out exactly where we're going next, and that is being guided by, as I mentioned before, our geophysics. Okay, well, certainly appreciate that uh, update there. Anything else you want to impart to investors before I let you go here, Mia? More to come, exciting times to come as we develop more of this. Maybe one thing to mention also is um, reiterating the fact that we have a huge property. We have 18,000 hectares, lots of polymetallic showings for us to attest. Um, So we're going to keep on being busy and we're going to keep on expanding what it is that we've already defined. Okay, well, appreciate that update. That's Mia Boerty, McDonald Mines, BMK, and the Toronto Venture Exchange. Mia, appreciate the update, and we'll certainly keep our eye on the wire and look forward to checking back in when you have some more news to report. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Rob.